Looking fellow, aren't you? Oh, come on then, let's go have a look at you. So, what we're looking at today is this merry looking chap, or chapette, called Happy Salmon from North Star Games. Inside this case is simply a deck of cards. The game promises to be fun, frenetic and full of fins. What you're essentially going to be doing is being given a hand of cards and you trying to exhaust your deck as quickly as possible. Be the first person to do that and you are the victor! That is it. Let's have a gander. Now before we begin, I've got to give a little disclaimer to Happy Salmon, and that is to confess that I actually haven't played this game yet. You see, it's still all wrapped up there. And that's simply because I haven't been able to get it to the table. Unfortunately, my bubble just is not big enough to do the game justice here. So the video today is just going to provide an overview of it, and more of a speculative review based on my thoughts and preconceptions of reading through the rules and my knowledge of the game. So without further ado, let's get things rolling. The game is incredibly straightforward. You're going to start with a set of 12 cards, shuffle them and you're ready to go. You want to cycle through your cards as quickly as possible and the game does this by combining two mechanics. The first of this is from Snap. You want to match up with somebody else that you're playing with. The second of these is from the game Pit, and that is to be as loud as you possibly can, because you've got to shout out your card and you want to get their attention. You match with someone, then you carry out the action on the card. There's a total of four actions in this game. These are trading places with someone, fist bumping, high-fiving, and doing the happy salmon when you carry out an action, discard your card and move on to the next. It's that easy. Wash, rinse and repeat. And be the first person to get through all 12 cards. And you are the victor! Now personally this game isn't for me, but don't count your chickens or your salmon too soon because it does appeal to certain crowds. And if you haven't guessed already, it is ideal for families and children. It allows you to release your inhibitions and regress back to that childlike stage as it promotes being loud, active, it helps get the adrenaline pumping a little bit and it gets you moving around, so just a little bit of fun. Now my first personal gripe with the game is to do with the party genre itself. A lot of people turn their nose up towards this genre thinking that these games are just poorly designed because they're overly simple. Now that's just not the case. There are some party games out there that are absolutely fantastic and are still really simple. The problem is for every one of these is that there's a bunch of bang average party games and considerably more terrible ones simply because publishers want to make a quick buck. This game fits in that kind of average category because it just feels that there wasn't much design there. There was no real arduous process. It just feels like this game was designed overnight and then put straight to press and bang, oh, you've got a game. The game retails at £15, so you're probably going to be able to guess what my next criticism will be. You see, for that money, all you get inside this case is this deck of cards. And the variety of the cards total up to four different cards. So you're questioning, well, where's the rest of it? Is there something I'm missing? What's, just, what's going on here? The fact is as well, if anybody's going to ask to say, hey, let's play that again, the answer is going to be no, because there's just no replayability whatsoever. There's just no depth, and the gimmicks of these actions are going to wear thin pretty quickly. Add to that matter, you've also got a problem of king-making. You see, if one person is about to win, everybody else in the group is just going to be alert and just say, no, don't do anything with that person, because if you work with them, they're going to win the game. And it just blocks, and it's just a problem. 
Now I'm a little bit conflicted as to whether or not to give this game a positive recommendation. You see, I think this game is so easy and straightforward that you guys are going to easily be able to judge for yourselves whether or not this game is worth buying. Me, personally, I'm not a fan of it. However, as a primary school teacher, it certainly has its merits and I think kids are going to have an absolute blast playing this game. Furthermore, I feel more conflicted in the way that I haven't been able to give this a proper review, not being able to get this game to the table and playing it, getting first-hand experience. Now, I do think it's going to be played best with its highest player count, because the more people you have around, the more insane it's going to be. And if you've got more than one copy, it scales up to 12 players, so you're going to have even more chaos, more carnage, and what's going to be funner than that. Not a lot in my eyes. So if you're going to be playing this with kids, it is going to be very loud. So you might want to try and control the volume. Maybe challenge your pupils, challenge the kids to see if they can complete this game in absolute and see if they can communicate with each other in different ways. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the game. A nice little one, but it's just far too simple for my liking. Thanks for stopping by, happy gaming, and cheerio! Say bye! Back you go, my friend!